Hey everybody, Radaman here. Thanks for tuning in to Starbound, a vanilla Let's Play tutorial series. So picking up where we left off, we have been collecting cotton and growing it for the teddy bear quest, and this will also give us the opportunity to make some armor as well, uh, once we have enough cotton. Uh, this episode, I plan on maybe doing some side mission questing. Uh, in order to build up our crew because I've been doing arguably an extraordinarily bad job of fully adding crew members. Uh, so taking a look at the quest logs here, we've got Lost Teddy that I'm just about able to do. And then uh, I'm not going to do the Peacekeeper stuff mostly because I find it boring. I will do a few Peacekeeper quests, but uh, for the vast majority of the time... Um, I won't be focusing on that because once you do one or two of them, they're all sort of the same. If I'm being perfectly honest. Oh, you know what? I don't want to be on this planet. I need to be on one of the different planets. So let's go and find some side quests. Some village colonist type stuff to do. I'm going to head to these small moons. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to put the apothecary down. I'll just wait. Alright, lining up to that planet. Switching my backpack for light. Beaming down. Oh, the silk was fully ready to be harvested. Oh well. Hello, everybody. Alright, let's see what kind of trouble we can get ourselves into. I know I'm not in my vehicle. Hello. Scavenger helmet is same stats as my current one, uh, but they I will be able to sell some stuff to them. So let's go free some of our inventory space. Paltry amount, but that'll have to do. Cheap buy, as you say. Uh, let's see. That is not better than what I currently have on. Huh? Alright, continuing on. You missed. <laughs> trying to spit on me. I'm not really interested in uh, getting in a fight with the local creatures. I'm trying to find a town. Oh, there's the mushroom people. Mm, you know what? You're on your own. I'm on a mission. And these mushroom folk don't give quests, so skip it. Oh, I'm not hungry. Yep, that will do. Another thing I could do is craft a Nova Kid flag. Um, that allows you to bookmark a location for teleportation and to just save it. Uh, for later. So if I find one of these villages, I can always bookmark it and say, hey, this village was, you know, uh, avian village or whatever. Clue X village or, you know. Oh, so we're back to glitch. All right, so let's let's do that. I'll craft one of these Novakid flags up. Plant the flag. Down. Bookmark uh, glitch castle. Except, now if I want to teleport... Uh, I don't know what's going on with that door. It's like possessed. I can always teleport back here at a moment's notice. So, you guys. Teach a guy a lesson. A.K.A. beat him up. Uh, let's pick up some of the other quests. Go to Small Pond. 
gather some plant fibers. Done that. Uh, so you want some woven fabric? Let's keep picking up some other ones. All right. Let's. Uh, I will work to complete the first one I have. Everybody keeps referencing some pawns, so. I think the guard was just trying to close the door on me. I was in a door fight with them. Big scary sniper. Yeah, I'll have none of that. Thank you. Alright, let's, uh change weapons in hopes for doing a bit more damage. Put weapons away. I put them away. And he is, instead of us hunting him, going to offer to join us. He's an outlaw. Um, but I'll hire him. Sometimes the people that you're hunting um, ouch. The people that you're hunting will surrender, and you have the option of continuing the bounty or uh, allowing them to join. Alright, and we still get the reward anyway, because we dealt with him. And it gave me a big Flaming two-hander. Okay. Uh, locate small stony pond. This is to the other direction. Now, there are different types of um, crew members that you can admit. Uh, some are combat. Some aren't. You know, you could get a tailor, for instance. Or uh, something like that. You know, instead of, uh, instead of a combat. Alright, so let's go to this small stony pond and do this other one. And I'm just going to probably do all of the quests that these guys ask of me. Uh, for maximum crew member. Am I here to kill you or talk to you? Oh, you want me to escort you back home. Uh, I will do that soon. Boy. What are you, the gang of bag folk fohawks? No one thing I want to demo is see how I have an oxygen meter? If I put on my EPP, the oxygen goes back up. So drowning when you have an EPP is an option. Oh, you have a grenade launcher and a one-handed grenade launcher? Really? That is a lot of energy per shot for not a lot of damage. Okay, so we have cleared out this, this pond. We will return back to the glitch town. Keeping in mind, uh, if we teleported there... Oh, I think I need to collect... Uh, I need to collect coal. If we teleported there, um, I would leave all these people behind. They don't follow you when you teleport. So if I'm just reporting back to them for mission success and not actually doing an escort, uh, that'd be fine. But in this instance, I'm actually escorting her, the one with the headphones on, the glitch with the headphones. Because um, she asked me to. Oh man, I love multi-jump. So much easier to traverse difficult terrain. Alright, so Spark Spear is going to be happy I did whatever he asked me to do. I don't even know. I'm not paying attention. I'm just doing it. Apologize if you want me to get into the details. Uh, Spark Spear, you are here. I have cleared out that band of that gang. And you gave me a one-hander. I delivered a note. 
What else? Another pond. All right, let's bring the reply to Freebolt. I also could go back to um, my ship briefly and craft some woven fabric with the plant fibers I have and then deliver those. Hunt Scavarin. Uh, so I'll hunt the Scavarin. In a second. But here, perfect. I am going to collect all of my uh, cotton. And then here's my crew member. And I can mouse over him and hit E, and he'll follow me. And then if I go to my sail here, I can actually check out my crew. His name is Rakel. Uh, but Rakel here is going to be renamed after one of my patrons uh, by next episode. So I will edit the save game file and give him a name after one of my patrons. And collecting um, collecting or recruiting one more crew member will allow me to expand the size of my ship. But I just got enough uh, cotton wool to make this teddy bear. So let me get the teddy bear as well. Uh, woven fabric. Oh, I need more plant fiber. That, uh, that flag was a little, a little pricey. Uh, I was collecting coal for the forge, so I upgraded the forge to the industrial furnace. And this industrial furnace has the ability to smelt titanium and durasteel. I don't have titanium or durasteel yet, but uh, when I get it, it will be useful. Uh, let's go and deliver the... So here, as you can see, the glitch castle, bookmarked. Uh, but I'm going to deliver the, tele uh, the bear to Ursa Minor before I forget to do that. But as you can see here, uh, Rakel follows me everywhere. All right, Ursa Minor. Oh, you know what? I, oh, I'm an idiot. Hold on a minute. I don't have an, I didn't have enough of a woven fabric to do that. So instead, uh, let's go to Glitch Castle. So now I go straight to Glitch Castle uh, rather than having to traverse over land for it. And all that cost me was a Nova Kid flag, which is really, uh, if you, you know, a tiny, tiny, minuscule bit of copper, literally just one bar. And oh boy, that's a lot of enemies. Uh, and some woven fabric, which is just plant fiber. These guys are doing a fair bit of damage. A Rakel. Oh, there he is. All right. I think this was probably a quest someone required me to do. And it's done. Nine iron ore. Well, unfortunately for me, uh, I smelt just about everything I immediately get, so I don't have a ton of iron ore available to offer that guy. But I, I could take a look. Oh, hello. I did whatever you asked me to do. Let's open these mystery bags. We got a matter module and a pickaxe. Oops. I threw my uh, sword. So you, where do you want to go? You want to go to Night Fiend? Night Finger? I don't know where that is, buddy. I guess I just need to talk to you to deliver it. Well, another thing I haven't been doing is the uh, scanning of glitch stuff. Because eventually I'll be asked to collect information about glitch. Uh, but that's actually one of the wonderful things about that Nova Kid flag. Is I could always just teleport here to 
you know, I don't necessarily need to go looking for a new glitch village. I know where one is. Um, Alright, so of my quests... Iron ore, an hourglass, and hunting some creature. Alright, so let's hunt the creature. That seems to be... That should be relatively simple to do. Are you the, uh, what, are you the lord here? He sure looks it. Alright, Scabran, we're coming for you. We want to play it really safe. Using the guiding missiles. And we're done. And it had all eight iron ore for free bolt. And... There is the completion of that quest. Oh, now he wants iron bars. Already had them on me. Finally delivering what Freebolt wanted. And that got me flares and kiwi seeds. Kiwi seeds are uh, kind of rarer, so that's cool. Oh, there's more quests. Hunt the beast. Retrieve your belongings. Uh, sure. Nutmidge. Alright, Mr. Nutmidge. We're gonna find you. And this is all in hopes uh, that someone will decide to join us and increase our crew to two. Which uh, would be very, very handy. Alright, Nutmidge is directly below me. There we are. And they're dead. All right, bring iron ore to Turnhart. Ouch. Part of me is just tempted to make a uh, a wooden bridge here. <laughs> I could. Don't fall. I don't know if this is a good use of my timber. But if I have to keep questing, it allows me to, to cross that gap with a lot more ease. Give iron to Freebolt. Did these guys just do the same quests in reverse? They did. All right. Well, you're welcome. Give me some bombs. A good reward for, you know, whatever. I don't know. All right. Pick up some more. Can I go find someone who's lost? A rescue mission of sorts in a small stony pond. Oh, I think I know where that is. Alright, let's head on over. And enjoy our bridge. Our beautifully crafted bridge. Sorry, Birdie. I engineered a way to make it really easy to kill you. Oh, my God. 
Okay. Uh, what's... Oh, these are cannibals? Jesus. Okay, that got dark. Uh, was I supposed to buy something out here? Yes. Done. Most excellent. I needed to escort him to buy goods from that merchant. And that's done. Who was asking? There you are. A spear that I'm likely not going to use. Okay, so what's left? Uh, bring hourglass to brave wire. Secret note to freebolt. Collect more iron ore. Collect iron bars. Uh, I think I'm out of iron bars. But I should have a bunch of iron ore, so I can do that. Woven fabric to brave wire. That would be you. And you are a mechanic. I will hire you. Woo! All that questing. All right, I do intend to finish um, the remainder of my quests that I've got here. Not leave anyone hanging. Okay, so these guys just want iron bars. So the easy way to do this is to teleport back to base. And I've now obtained a larger license because I have two crew. So I have to meet with Penguin Pete on the outpost with uh, two upgrade modules, which I do have. But iron bars, ta-da! And it looks to me like uh, we, some watering is in order. So here, as you can see, we have the crew members. Uh, my hmm? Hmm? fighting mercenary and my mechanic. Uh, we could bring them up, oops. All right, bring him up in the sail here as crew. Iron Finger and Rakel. Rackle? I don't, I don't know what his name is. All right. So let's go with our upgrade modules, which are here. We have five of them. Perfect. And hit up for a larger ship. That's, uh, that's a good landmark, because it was getting a little crowded. Especially with the additional uh, crew members. Hello, Pete. I will indeed allow you to upgrade my ship. That's it. That is literally it. Alright, now on my list of things that I need, uh... Let's. The teddy bear is really chief, chief amongst them. But as you can see here, the ship here now has this back section. I can dig through this uh, hazard block, and here is the entire back section. So, one of the wonderful things we could do here is to. Well, I could put down new stations, like the apothecary. Uh, I can also expand a farm. Um, I could even, if I wanted to, set up a colony, put colony deeds and colonize it. Uh, but of course, my task voted on by you guys is to not do that, but to build one later on in the game, which I intend to do. But uh, yeah, this will be really, really helpful for farming and storage. Um, you could redesign parts of the ship, like you could tear up lights and um, tear out back panels which, as you can see, ends up making the ship look real weird. Uh, I don't I don't tend to like to rip up the ship in this way. I like to just leave it, uh, looking the way it is. I don't do a lot of ship customization. It's just a personal preference. 
Uh, but let's let's continue these these quests here. And you do gain larger ships with every additional uh, crew members. So, you know, the next big one I think is four or something like that. Take this note to Cogwall. She's right here. Take iron bars to Cogwall. And the parcel back to Rust Lamps. For the reward. Ooh, look at his helmet. And a, another two-hander. All right, I'm going to stop picking up um, side quests. Uh, I'm just going to complete the ones I have. Unless I like the rewards. And there, he has a bigger helmet. You're welcome. Alright, so what do we have left? We have some glitch thieves need a talking to. And by that, oh, I think you know what I mean by that. Uh, before I go anywhere, let's go to the kitchen and make some food. Because my dude is getting hungry. And this is rice I grew on the ship, so in a way, it is uh, space rice, which is fancy. Alright, glitch thieves. Prepare to meet your maker. Well, that's a bad start. Alright. His name is Farmlance? That is a hilarious name. I'm also, uh, pretty low on ores, so a little bit of a subterranean mining trip would not be a terrible idea. These quests drained me of my um, woven fabric as well, which is what's stopping me from being able to deliver uh, the teddy bear to Ursa Minor. So getting some plant fiber and getting some uh, some basic ores would be kind of nice. You can buy um, ores from Ursa Minor once you're done with the teddy bear mission, so that's one way to shortcut that. But, uh, I'd rather just, um, I'd rather just mine it up myself. Uh, battle standard. Ooh, fancy. Oh, look at that. Oops. Give it to wingmate. Wingmate liked it. You're welcome. And I get a silver money pick out of that. Alright, back to Farmlance. Hello, Farmlance. And you're done too. With a pretty fast rate of fire dagger. Alright, you are a tailor. Oh, oh, stop moving. I will hire you. Hiring a tailor, that's really good. Really, really good. Alright, so the Lost Teddy is now what I'm going to work on. Um, I would say my my work here is done for this uh, this little uh, glitch castle. I've done a whole lot of missions. There might be some more to do, but I'm I'm good to be leaving. Uh, I find that Harvesting the overland plants for plant fiber is slower than the vines, in my opinion. They'll both get you there, but with varying degrees of effort. But for me to get the, um... Oh, those were just grassy rocks. I don't want grassy rocks. Uh, for those, for us to get what we need, it might be better to dig down. I'm also just deleting, uh... 
blocks of stuff I don't care for. Well, that, getting our plant fiber this way will take forever. Uh, but uh, if we're in the mushroom biome, yeah, it's um, it usually has surface caves that are easy to tap into. So I already see a chest to my west here. And if this doesn't get us plant fibers, I can always uh, check out another planet that has extensive viney cave systems. Nope, this will do. Ooh, a blueprint for a shroom chair and a wild fungus cap for my head. Very fancy, I like it. In fact, um, here, now I know that blueprint. Let's keep getting... These mushrooms are also pretty good for us to feed ourselves with, but uh, there seems to be plenty of plant fiber, so given that I did run out, let me enjoy the bounty. Right, that is more than enough. It's cutting a hole in the cave and warping on out. Let's get Ursa Miner's teddy bear delivered. And also it looks like I'm going to be able to make myself uh, some armor as well with uh, the cotton I just grew. Rewatering the plants. Smelting. So the woven fabrics, I know I need what, like uh, six more? I'll make seven just in case. Yeah, I just needed six. All right, oh no, three more on top of what I, I've already crafted. One, two, three, there we are. Teddy bear's done. Cotton wool is now, all of this could be earmarked for armor. So taking a look at my gear, um, I need the vest, which is better. And the chaps. And then my stats are going to go up. So as you can see, 120, 120, and 200% up from uh, 113, 113, and 165. But if I want to not look like a bandit, uh, I can you know, use cosmetic slots and whatnot. Actually, how does the... Oops, didn't mean to touch that. How is the... Eh, the bandit gear doesn't look so bad on me. I could always make the bandit hat as well. Yeah, let's do it. Alright, so now this is what it looked like. I'm okay with that. It looked pretty cool. If I don't say so myself... Alright, we have a ton of things to sell, and then we also have the, we have the uh, pet, or the uh, the teddy bear, rather, to deliver, so let's go do that, to the tell shop, and then to Earth Reminder. So I've got Iron Finger following me here. Oops. Something I wanted to check. Nope. Is I don't have enough tech cards or manor modules. So now that uh, I've delivered the bear, he's back in action and he sells uh, picks and, and ores and stuff. So here's the stuff I was willing to part with the gear that I don't need. About 2,000 pixels. Oh, my old armor as well, I can ditch. It doesn't really serve a purpose anymore, and I can, if I ever miss it, I can make it. What, uh, upgrade module, cool. All right, take a look at my rest of my inventory. I've got uh, this furniture I could sell. 
because of course I'm just going to be eventually designing a Western themed. So I need to only really focus on Western themed, which right now Frog is selling space themes. So that doesn't help me out at all. All right. Well, that does solve the, um, the Ursa Minor, which is cool. We uh, got that done. I have 14,000 pixels. That's a pretty good amount. So the ship, the Terramart shipments is something that you could buy to add to your own uh, colony if you wanted to. Um, to be able to sell. But it's kind of, in my opinion, unnecessary. Unless you like their uh, offerings. Because you can... You can recruit your own... Um, vendors. That you can sell to. So here is the... Apothecary, which allows us to make better medicines. I really ought to take a moment to lay out a better farm, if I'm being honest. Um, but I don't want to spend too much time investing in the improvement of uh, this base here. This, um, not base, but uh, spaceship, until it gets a little bit bigger. Chocolate is a really good um, recipe to make because food eventually does decay, but chocolate takes like forever and ever and ever. Uh, it's extremely well preserved, whereas like these meat dumplings, uh, yeah, that will go bad, you know, within a reasonable period of time. Well, I guess it's time to fetch the Florin Artifact. I'm pretty well stocked up. And I have now talked to my tailor, and my entire crew is going to be in bandit gear, minus their helmets. Uh, that's one of the benefits that the tailor has. Or I can revert them back to protectorate. As you can see, they all have protectorate stuff, but I'd rather have them look like bandits. Okay. So... In order to do the mission, the hunting mission, instead of finding a specific planet, I just go to my sail and say deploy. And it warps me to the hunting ground quest automatically. There's no need to find it. Well, beat me down already, Scotty. And I've brought along my two companions. So here is the floral, uh, florin hunting grounds. Where the quest is going to begin. Ooh, I don't mind that dagger. Six damage, 2.5 swing. Let's replace it with... This bad boy, the focus hacker, shacker, whatever it is. There, already got an improvement. All right, use the elevator, going down. There's uh, going to be stuff down here to scan. And uh, Sale just said that 97% of the life forms down here are uh, hostile. Yep, that's, that's a good percentage. Okay, there's nothing in there. Well then.
having uh, trusty companions is kind of nice. Got pretty low on life there. And another blade. It is better than my other one, so we'll switch it out. So now I have two... Oops, I didn't mean to eat that. I have two really fast rate of stabbing uh, blades now that do more damage. Finding two improvements already. And here is who kicks off the mission. Nuru, youngest champion in the history of the hunt. Pretty impressive. They spend years honing their prowess. Skilled craftsman grinding like a spearhead. Um, and they mostly die. Anyhow, good luck, she says. Good luck blocking. I stab just too fast. just bad at this kind of stuff. It's not my forte. Uh, Alright, I'm not going to worry about that. Uh, so this liquid here is poison. So, you know, mind your step. And of course, they're going to try to trap you in it. Like so. But, hey, you can use it to your advantage. Oh no, I'm in jail! I like how I become naked. It's kind of funny. Oh, yeah, I go from this direction. That makes more sense. I You probably could have managed to pull myself through here if I was a little bit more skilled at the uh, traversing. Uh, and we have a tribal headwear mask. That sells for a very pretty penny. I'm just going to make sure I don't uh, miss something else hidden because I wasn't full, fully exploring. You know, take my time and enjoy it. Alright, so some food. We've got cooking if we need it. I'll cook up a little bit. A few rusted mushrooms, just in case I, I get hungry. guys hit pretty hard. So maybe I shouldn't tank them. Traps and gaps. Oops. Boulders would not feel good. Alright, there's really nothing down there that I can see from a glimpse. All right, and here she is again. Nice work that I've made it this far. says, now I'm stuck, but she can help me.
Alright, uh, looks like I am a little bit low on ropes. So I'll craft some up. Just in case I run out. <clears throat> my, uh... Ouch. My companion here is getting bashed pretty hard by those. The hunt is on. Sure is. Get your little... Oh, there goes my companion. With their little machine guns. You know what I got? I got home missiles. It's gotta be better, right? Yeah, feels a little cheating, but hey, it works. <laughs> I don't like getting shot at people in purchase, so I will uh, remedy that. This here is a save point, which if you die, you'll start here and not uh, at the start start. So it's a way, it's a, like a checkpoint. And what did I just get? I got a predatory back backwear cosmetic and a codex living in fear. Come on to the edge. Or not. I guess I could have used my sword and done a... Teleport. No, I can't even teleport through there. I could turn into a little ball, but uh, all right, I don't need to anymore. Two-hander, pretty good damage on that. I wonder. Um, yeah, this might might use this. Here's the boss fight. A proper challenge. All right, so let me go ahead and drink coffee for an energy regen. Down. And when the surface of the shell is damaged like this, it is far more vulnerable. As with all insects, has a bunch of little garbage spawn. Come on down here. This is where, oh, here we go. Where good ranged weapons come in handy when it's uh, playing hard to get. And it regrew its shell. Fine, I'll just rocket launch you. As you can see, it does not take a lot of damage when armored. That's sort of the uh, the key here, I guess. Very mad, and now you're very dead. Whew. All right, well that's that fight for the Florin artifact. And here's the artifact itself. The hunt is over, the sacred bone is mine.
That was the most fun I had in ages. Felt good. Congratulations. And the trophy comes with one free Nuru, which is, you know, she's Nuru. So that's the key. And then as we continue, there is a little treasure. Um, so Nuru joining the outpost is not the same as joining the crew of the ship, but uh, let's take our loot here. We got a blueprint for a skull sconce capture pods, which capture um, pets. We got some blades here. Codex about Ixodum. And then if we warp back to the Ark Ruins, we will find Nuru, who is the Florin that joined the uh, the, the Ark. So much the way that you've got um, Esther, you'll have Nuru here. Here she is, as you can see. And Esther's right over here. And this is where I'm going to end the episode. Yes, without us actually talking to Esther. I know, kills you, right? But uh, I'm a little bit over time, and we'll get to that next episode. Thank you so very much for watching, everybody. I will catch you all next episode. If you have any feedback for me, do drop me a line in the comments below. Take it easy, and see you later.